The idea that teachers are also researchers in their own classrooms is basic to the Reggio Emilia philosophy. Teachers in the Reggio Emilia schools in Italy do not follow a predetermined curriculum or give lectures and handouts that include all of the information that the children are supposed to learn, but they also do not simply stand back and hope that the children learn for themselves. Instead, they take an active, engaged approach to teaching that provokes the children's inquiries and supports and guides them based on what the teachers themselves observe about the needs, interests, and capabilities of the children in their classrooms. Like all good researchers, teacher researchers take the time to notice, document, and think about what happens in the world. They discuss it with colleagues and others who are interested. They have theories about what's happening and what changes might improve things. They test their theories, take note of what happens, and start wondering about that, and so on, always taking steps to expand their own understanding of what's going on and to act on that understanding. Classroom research is not top-down research, where specialists from outside tell teachers what to look for and change based on grand theories that are true for many situations. This is bottom-up research, where teachers, as the people on the ground in the classroom, notice what's working or not working and take steps based on their own theories about what will make learning more satisfying and successful for everyone in that particular situation. It's not even about creating their own grand theories for how to teach. For example, expecting that a specific idea that worked for one student will work for all of their students. The more experienced and successful Reggio instructors become, the more committed they become to the responsive processes of continued discovery and continued learning. That learning may even include incorporating ideas from academic grand theories, but always paying attention to how they might be useful in the context of particular classrooms. As with all researchers, Teacher researchers thrive on being part of a community of people who are thinking about similar problems. In the schools in Reggio Emilia, there are always more than one teacher in every classroom, providing a core community of adults who are committed to understanding that group of students. Regular discussions also bring in other teachers at the school, including experts in pedagogy and in the arts. If these processes aren't automatically available at your school, you can still build up your own research response team by talking about your observations and theories regularly with like-minded colleagues, administrators, students' families, and others who are interested. In order to protect your students' privacy and to focus on understanding, remember that the point of such conversations is never to complain about students or try to figure out how to fix them. It's always about how to improve your practice as a teacher. The most powerful way to fix any problems you're encountering is to develop your image of the child, becoming more aware of your students' understandings, perspectives, needs, interests, strengths, and abilities, and changing your practices and your classroom in response to that deeper awareness. Community and image of the child are not the only core aspects of the Reggio Emilia philosophy that provide support for the teacher researcher. Documentation is crucial to the research process. Learning to listen to the children's hundred languages provides many clues to understanding what's going on in your classroom that you might otherwise miss. Provocations allow you to observe the children's reactions to an experience that you chose to arrange. And classroom environment and projects provide additional opportunities for you to test your theories and see how the students respond. In turn, acting as a researcher will inform and enrich all of the other core aspects of Reggio Emilia. It also provides your students with a powerful model of how to learn through inquiry 
children notice when adults are genuinely curious about what they're thinking and doing, and they respond with their own engaged and enthusiastic inquiries. Research is about taking a purposeful journey towards better understanding, but it happens in small steps. Any good scientist will tell you that research is the process of taking those small steps, not about believing that you have arrived or are about to arrive at some whole overarching truth. As with any new journey, the first few steps can be the most challenging. What keeps most researchers going is a genuine personal interest in the answers to the questions they're asking. So it may help to reflect on your answers to the following questions. What do good teachers understand? What do they know about their students, themselves, and their community? What have they learned from discussions with other teachers? What have they learned from administrators, parents, and other community members? What have they learned by observing and listening to their students? What have they learned from analyzing and reflecting on what's happening in their classrooms? What is the relationship between teacher understanding and student learning? What is the relationship between teacher understanding and student enthusiasm and engagement? What is the relationship between teacher understanding and classroom processes and procedures that work smoothly and successfully? As a researcher in your classroom, you will start gathering insights that can lead to more successful learning and growth for everyone involved.